Hi, this is Bethany Marshall from Morgan James Publishing, and today I'm speaking with our author, Kristen Beal. And Kristen is the author of A Million Sons. Um, she's actually an author of multiple books uh, with Morgan James Publishing, but her latest release is A Million Sons. So hi, Kristen. How are you today? Hi, good to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks so much for being here. And I'm very excited to talk about the launch of your new book and uh, to talk about you know your journey as an author and, and the messages that you share uh, with your writing. So um, first of all, to just kind of like introduce yourself, could you talk uh, to us about um, what inspired you to write this book? Definitely. So I, I have loved writing, um, not my whole life, but I started after my jet ski accident in 2005. Um, which is the, the story in Greater Things, my first book. Um, it was a jet ski accident that killed my friend and paralyzed me. And, and so the, the story of Greater Things is the accident and those initial years after my injury and kind of adapting to my new life and the struggle, a lot of struggle. Um, so I wanted to write, so that was Greater Things. That was my first book. And A Million Sons, I wanted to write that as Greater Things showed a lot of struggle and kind of learning how to manage, how to navigate a disability. And A Million Sons, I wanted to write that because I wanted to give this, my disability a different, show it through a different lens, which is fun and happy and I'm loving this and I'm making the best of it. Where Greater Things is more of a struggle, I wanted to show A Million Sons it's hard a lot of the time sometimes but it's also so much fun because all this stuff you can do which is in a million sons and all these opportunities and all these people that i'm meeting and all the great things that are coming out of this um so a million sons is a lot happier my fiance just finished reading the book and he said that was a lot happier and it's completely different i guess take on your story than, than greater things was and so i wanted to show the happy and fun side of disability and kind of kind of as a um, wake up call, I guess, to all the people that look at me and say, oh, you know, I pity her or, you know, she did, she has a hard, unhappy life and I don't at all. And so many sons shows that. Mm, wow. Wow, what a powerful message and, and neat that you've been able to kind of share it through, through both voices and both experiences because it, it has been, you know, both. So uh, to talk about that and to highlight that I think is so, so fascinating and uh, amazing that, that you shared your journey um, in, in these books. Um, so your book is um, also about rediscovering your passions after your accident and disability. Would you say that you uh, were able to rediscover those passions? Yeah, so with, um, with a lot of challenge. So before I got hurt in my accident, I was competition cheerleader, uh, captain of the cross team, and I was on the field hockey team, so I was very active, and when I got hurt, I thought, this is all taken away from me, because I'm paralyzed, so what am I going to do now? Um, so it's kind of, so Million Sons kind of takes you through the journey of, the whole theme of the book is trying to find my passion, trying to get my passion back, so I try almost all adaptive sports um, that are available to me. Um, and I try new experiences, I meet, I meet people, I go places, I travel. Um, and so the result of that is a great thing because I found a passion in hand cycling, which is my first and strongest passion. I've done nine marathons. I just finished my ninth in October before COVID a year ago. Um, and then I was, I'm, on a, I'm a nationally competing wheelchair fencer. So I found my passion in fencing. And then, this is kind of a spoiler alert, and then I um, met my fiancé, we have a story too, met my fiancé, that's my other passion, my love. Um, so it kind of takes you through, you know, all the sports and all the things that I didn't like and, you know, the struggle that I had because of my, because of my disability, the unique struggles. Um, and then, in the end, I find things that I love and my passion that kind of continue and push me through to having such a happy and fun life. Wow. It's also, it's also realistic. Sorry, I cut you off. It's also realistic. I don't want you, I don't want you to think that I have a, you know, carefree, unrealistic life because I also have struggle in there and I address that. But, you know, in total, it's good and it's happier. Wow, that's amazing. So, um, 
you are quite ambitious because you also had a second book in between. So you had Greater Things and then you had another book. Uh, now you've got um, A Million Sons. So you you like to keep a lot going on. So these, these, um, these sports that you've got going on and your writing. So could you tell us about, um, you know, what's the next goal that you are currently working toward? So the next thing is the most fun thing. So you brought it up. Dating is my second book. And this is about dating in, a, dating in a wheelchair. So I go on 32 dates in two and a half months, which is insane. Um, and I make a comic out of all of them. And it's also things that happened in my life because of my disability or things that people say or, you know, et cetera. And I make a comic out of all of it. So I make it fun. I'm turning a, you know, maybe a bad situation into a good thing. Um, and so I went on these dates. I changed their names and I like exposed these guys. And so now, um, the next step is we're turning Date Me into a TV show. So I'm going one step further, and I'm, like, further exposing them. Um, <laughs> um, so it's very fun, and we're doing – Date Me is going to turn into a TV show. We have filmed the pilot episode, and we're now in editing, and that's going to be out um, approximately February on Amazon Prime and other – you know, as many other places we can get it, but surely Amazon Prime – and it's going to be called Date Me. So look about look at look for that at about February time. Um, so that's that's my one project. My other thing I love to draw is evidence from my comic book. I love to draw and illustrate. Illustrate. So I'm kind of trying to build my empire of um, Instagram, you know, followers. So I have a, I have an Instagram account that I publish one comic every Tuesday to um, Greater Things Comics on Instagram. And it's just really fun because it's the work that I love to do. Writing and drawing are the two things that I love to do. And I get to do it for my job, which is, you know, the happiest thing. Um, so I'm doing my weekly Instagram comics and I'm working on the TV show and I'm having another book on my mind, my next book. So I'm a busy girl. Yes. Busy indeed. in the best way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that's so amazing. Love to hear those exciting developments and, um, and uh, we're so proud of you and proud of this next book and excited for all the good to come, um, you know, down the line as, as more people start um, learning about you and learning about your message and, and your story and your books. Um, so thank you, Kristen, so much for spending some time with me today to talk about your new book launch. Um, if people want to get connected with you or learn more about um, about you or get in touch, what's the best way for them uh, to, to find you online? Um, well, to find me online is kristenbeal.com. And then also I'm on Instagram as Kristen Beal. Facebook is Kristen Beal. You can find me all, all over the place. Um, my website is good for a video, an excerpt, sign up for my comics, um, send me a message, anything like that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today and congratulations. Thank you very much.